we talking about, you so-called white people who walk around here? Y'all metal, y'all metal and everything. Hell, man. fuck, man. Leave us alone, man. Leave us alone, bro. Yeah, get out of here, man. Damn. That's why these other nations are gonna stick a missile up your ass, man. Right. Y'all always mess messing with every, everybody, man. Get, uh, have Damn. No, you are not on the side. We don't agree with you. We don't like you. And, you, we, and we racist, man. There so you if go. you don't like now it, you speak get out of here, man. You're racist. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 nigga. Hey, white man. Hey, 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 Listen, listen. Yeah. racism means race, comes from the Latin word raza, which means gene. Is there's a suffix for something you yeah. advocate for. Let so me tell you what I hear. I hear so-called white man. I hear so-called white man. You the devil. You the devil. You the devil. You the devil. Because I'm white. Because I'm white. Right. What makes you think Jesus is black? It would have called somebody. What makes him black? What makes him white? He's simple. Yeah, he's green. Keep green. He's green. He's green, right? He's the color of olive, right? He's the color of olive, right? He's green. No. Why does it matter? Because it's in the Bible. You don't see me. People lied about it. Oh my God. Why did you lie about it? It doesn't matter. Why did you lie about it? Why did your people put that up? If it if it don't matter. My people. Y'all are my people. We all Americans. You didn't see the white person put that shit up. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead, racist. Go march for Mike Brown. Go march for Mike Brown. Come on. Yeah, go march for Eric Garner. Right. Why don't you go march for Eric Garner, man? Why? I put yeah, you on the spot yeah. and you yeah. can't go hold it up, bro. Right. Man, you didn't put us on the spot. It was a stupid ass argument. It's a stupid ass <laughs> argument to show all racist. Dumb ass argument. Yeah. Read, man. You don't have a good point. Yeah. He got a terrible point. Yeah, like he came up here with something. Like he came up here with something. what they did. Like he came like that was a groundbreaking, devastating point that he just made, man. We were open minded. Yeah, 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 yeah. Read. 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 If you really want to know what we're about, listen Fuck up. If you, you want to talk to you. What happened to love? Yo. What happened to love? What happened to yeah. peace? Fuck what you. What happened to unity? What happened to unity, brother? Where's your unity, bro? That's why you blow your head off for, uh, for having a pack of cigarettes, man. So this is the new. This get off. Man. They give him a million dollars, man. Yeah, man. That's right. You get a million dollars for blowing a black man's head off. Yeah, we gonna talk about race because y'all made it up. That's right. You crackers done been racist your, your whole damn existence, but we can't bring that up, man. Yeah, yeah. You decide. You decide. We can't point the finger at you, man. You done done all these atrocities. And yeah, I'm talking about you, Joe Six Pack. Uh, loser eat uh, white folks that's walking around these streets. I ain't talking about the people in Congress. I'm talking about you white people that uphold the, the, the BS that y'all been doing for the last four, five hundred years. You, you guilty, you guilty, man. And we gonna come out here and tell it, and tell it, man, to your face, man. Yeah, it's just like the brother Mike Hollis said, man. They done did all these atrocities, but now they wanna tell everybody to calm down and stop. They done killed and raped every damn thing. Now they wanna say, hey, everybody calm down. Let's just be peaceful. Enough is enough, okay? Do we have to keep going here? Yeah, but you're talking about uh, blowing, blowing up Arabs and going over there and doing all this stuff. You advocate that, man. They hung this It's okay to do that. But a nigga can't get mad when his cousin get his head blown off in the street for no reason, man. You white people are the most hypocritical yeah, people on the planet, That's man. Right, bro. And we right. calling you out in your face, man. That's right, man. And, 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 and no, you don't love right. it, love us, man. We see yeah. right through your BS. Yeah. It's right. the same thing you said when you uh, uh, picked us up on a slave ship, man. That's right. Love, 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 man. Thank you. Miss me with all that, man. That's right. All that love crap is over with. At the That's time right. of the B attitudes is over, man. That's, That's over right. With. The Lord is issuing out judgment. That's right. That's right. And guess what? There's gonna be pain. That's right, bro. Pain and anguish is coming to America. That's right. Pay, the boy. BS y'all been doing for years. Got man. to pay. That's right, man. That's right. Bring out your boy. point, Mike. Sorry. All right, read this. Read this. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. Read. Then shall the righteous men stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Yeah, we stand in great boldness in front of you, man. And you are shocked. 
You are shocked. You fucking racist. Fuck you. Man, come on, man. Miss me with that. Stop. Yeah, man. It's no, yeah, and it's not like, like you're not anytime racist. Anytime a so-called white man talks about reverse racism, I'm just like. <laughs> ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody yeah. stopping your yeah. agenda, bro. Yeah. You haven't lost because of black people, man. Shut up. Yeah. The fuck up. Black people ain't fucking with you. That's, that's right. Black that's people are not fucking with you. Fucking white with people. each other. That's right. Yeah. We kill each other, man. You going off scot free doing what the hell you want to do, yeah. man. And it's just, yeah. Just because we complain about how whack you are, now it's a reverse racism. No, man. You destroyed everything, bro. Everybody tried to get along with you. Right. right what are you right. talking about? Love and peace and coming together. We tried. Yep. The way we marched, we sang, we held hands, we laid nice, down in the man. street, we let your dogs bite us. Tried it. You water hose us, you burn down our cities. Churches. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You do, you're just a diabolical demon, yeah, man. You're right. the most, you're just disagreeable. Yeah. You're just freaking disagreeable, man. It's just in your nature. You can't help it, man. Yeah. And now that we see through it, it really just hit me now. When I was reading, as we came out, it hit me. I'm like, you cannot compromise with this guy. Nope. Man. Nope. You, you, when you go through world history, he fucking killed everybody, man. Yep. He had war. No, he had wars with every other nation. Everyone, like yeah. everyone. He never had a time where he just wasn't at war. There's no, there's, y'all have maybe 24 years in America. Hey, how many years in American history have they not been in war? Like 20, like 20 something years. Like but when they wasn't doing that, they were experimenting on Negroes, Latinos, and Native people. You're just perpetually just jacking stuff up, man. And now that we're coming out here and telling you that that's wrong and that y'all gonna pay for it as a nation, you, your whole foundation is corrupt. And the Most High is going, the Most High is gonna destroy that foundation because it's based on wickedness. That's right. Duh. <laughs> No, man. Yeah. You are, bro. What are you talking about? That's right. That's right, bro. That's we right, have not. What are you talking about? Yeah, man. We've done nothing but be good citizens. Can I? What do I mean? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. yeah, you got Negroes on crack that you brought. Yeah, you got Negroes shooting guns that you taught. You taught the Negro Wild Wild West impulsive. Just get how you live, nigga. That's what I did. You taught him that impulsive YOLO, hey, obey your thirst, you know. Yeah, that's your vibration. That's your vibration. You taught him that. Profit, it's all about profit. Capitalism, profit. Get the profit. Free market, baby, come on. Yeah, but you can't do it like us. Get it over the hood. Then he makes rules and only a couple of guys can get through the loopholes, so you now you have this classism. And come on, man, you guilty, bro. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, and also, your whole system is jacked up. That's right, man. You can't blame Negroes for, right, for your system, man. That's right, dog. And on top of that, don't act like you ain't racist, man. Yeah. Don't act like you don't like that uh, like you like uh, niggas all of a sudden, man. <laughs> we read your comments on the comic boards, That's man. Right. That's, That's right. a strong disdainment for black people, man. That's right. And, it, and, and you could man, you could go and read an article about Oprah. You got to be on the comic board. All Look you, at this nigga. All you got to do is this old fat ass nigga. Go across the street. Hate in the restaurant. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd yeah. Mayweather. Oh Hatred. Pure hatred, man. Still because he believes in himself. Yeah. He's Bill, a monster. Bill Cosby. He's a nice guy, right? Look at the comma. Look at this fucking nigga. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go back to Africa, man. <laughs> That's the sentiment of you so-called white people. So don't sit here and come out here or while we out here in the highways and byways and tell us that we need to stop being racist, man. No! You're racist, man! Yeah. Right. Your whole vibration is racist, man. And stop telling me you don't... That's all racist means. You uplift your people. Why does the native? You done lied and wrote this picture all over the world, Told established it as the image of the Lord, and we can't talk about that it's not true. You taught the, yeah. you taught the so-called Negroes in America that they African. Yeah. When they not, that's what's wow. they like your enemy. Go and then you truth. took the so-called Mexican, Puerto Rican, and took their name away, and made up a name. You Puerto Rican. What the fuck? Sport. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was a lot of gold. Yeah, here. Make that up. You could at least gave them a Spanish name that was tied to what they names really were. Yeah. <laughs> you just made up some. She's, you know, this is Puerto Rico now. Yeah. But but you keep. We, you ain't supposed to feel no type of way about nothing. Yeah. Hey, just oh yeah yeah yeah. It you're happened. Right. Yeah, you're right. Let's move on. Let's go have a beer. Yeah, you took my dad. Yeah. You took my. You took my forefathers. Everything they had killed them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. establish yeah. yourself just and get on over it. Let a black cop shoot a white boy. Yeah. Let that happen. A white girl. 
girl. A little white girl. Yeah. Seven years old. Blow like her head. Blow her head off just because he got angry. Yeah. You scared. Watch yeah. what happened to that. Yeah. yeah. That, pull, pull, pull up. Pull up to a park and just blow a twelve-year-old kid. I guarantee you, he won't get a million dollars. He won't have some million-dollar trust fund on Facebook to where he can he can uh, uh, retire from the police force and and, uh, and, oh, man, and have a million dollars in his I, uh, IRA account, man. Collecting four percent interest on it, man. Money he would never have made in the police department, anyways. He would have never accumulated that type of money, man. He rich. But you, oh, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, let's hey, just, don't let's, be mad about let's, that. Let's, let's march with a candle. Fuck that, man. That's right. Fuck marching, man. It's played out. Michael Luther King. Psalms chapter 50, Psalms chapter 53, 58, verse 2. Yeah, in uh, in heart you work wickedness. Yeah, man. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Yep. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Keep reading. The wicked, it says the wicked are estranged from the womb. The moment they come out the belly, it's something, there's a spark of the left hand power within them. Go ahead. They goes astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. As soon as they be born, man. Why? Because they've been indoctrinated with their father's system. You so-called white people are so indoctrinated with Darwinism and this whole transhumanistic BS reality, this synthetic reality, man. You really think that you're the god of this world, man. And you want everybody to play along, man. Yeah, man. We don't woke up to that madness, man. Yeah, no, man. We don't believe no in more, your vaccines, man. antibiotics, GMOs. We don't. No, we're not no, listening man. to you no more. No, we're not hand holding your hands no more. No. There's a line drawn in the sand. You over there, we over here. Yes, man. Yep, that's the way you want it anyway. Yeah, for real. All right, and you such a tough guy. Let's see what happens. Yep. All right. <laughs> yep. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth, stoppeth her ear. Mm -hmm. They don't hear nothing, man. It's going to sit up there and it's going to bite your ass. Go ahead. That's right. Which will not hearken to the voice of the charmers. Mm, you ain't no y'all, and you Negroes, Al Sharp tongues, and all you uh, and all you other uh, 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 what so-called elite Negroes, man. Y'all trying to charm the uh, the snake. Y'all trying to charm the so-called white man. You got niggas dancing. Yeah. And the white and the snake go bite your ass, man. <laughs> the snake ain't listening to you. Keep reading. That's right. I'm listening to y'all. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Yeah, man. Keep reading. Break their teeth, oh God, mm -hmm. in their mouth. Break mm. their teeth in their mouth. Take away their power, yep. man. Yep. That's what the Most High is going to do to America and all these uh, the geopolitical systems. All these geopolitical institutions that have been set up by Esau is going to be broken. You're going to be broken in the Third World's War. As soon as y'all go into Iran, when they get it together with Russia and China and India and Turkey's going to jump in, you think that's your ally. He's not. Turkey hates your guts too. That's right. All y'all going to fire missiles on each other, man. And your whole world system is going to be broken up. That's right. All right. Your World Bank, your IMF, all your U.S. In, uh, embassies are going to be taken out. Your whole U.N. system, the NATO is not going to work. There ain't going to be no peace trees and everybody come together. You're going to crawl out of some bunker that you made in a movie. Then that's not what's going to happen. There's going to be a whole new world established. A whole new world governance is what's going to come. Okay? That's what's the promise to this place, all right? Right. All right? That the Lord is not compromising with America. That's right. Uh, and with the ideals of All America. these other prophecies came to pass hundreds of years before they came. And the same prophecy, when it talks about that beast that rolls up, that's talking about you. All right? You're going to go down with horrific pain. This is Revelation chapter 17. I was going to tell you to get there. Start at 1. Good. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1. Because this is talking about America. All right? This uh, America has been the most vicious empire in the history of the world in a very short span of time. Hole in the ozone layer. I always say this, man. I say it every week, man, because it's, it astounds me when you look at the state of the earth. It's incredible how many ecosystems have been destroyed. How many endangered and extinct species have been created. All right? It's amazing how much disease is proliferating in the so-called technological new age. Huh? People, heart disease at 40 years old, heart disease. 
all right? And you, we can't understand it. Oh, we can understand it. The earth has been ruled in wickedness, man. Yep. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1. Uh -huh. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of that great horn that sitteth upon many waters. We're going to talk about that great horn that sitteth upon many waters. We're talk about that great horn. That great horn represents America. All right? And as many waters represent the people. Right. All right, because the man came out of the waters, and the waters in the scriptures, when you read, represent the people. If you actually keep reading in this chapter, it's going to tell you that. Keep reading. Okay. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with America. Through what? Trade, philosophy. All right? Like we talked about, that whole geopolitical system is spearheaded by America. All right, keep reading. Cut. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. What is that wine of the fornication? That wine of the fornication is the philosophies, okay? We talked about this, the democracy, your false Christianity, all right? Your, your, your BS capitalistic system that does not engender righteousness. It only engenders greed. Yep, bro. Read. Come. So, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, uh -huh. full of names of blasphemy, uh -huh. having seven heads and ten horns. What is those seven heads and ten horns? The seven heads and ten horns is NATO and all the uh, global common markets that are in and surrounding it, man. This is why you get all these New World Order clips now on YouTube. Because that, there is a systematic elite that are doing something. All right? Yeah. They are forwarding, forwarding a certain agenda. All right? And it's worked very well. It's worked very well. They have encapsulated the minds of everybody into believing this is the status quo, this is normal, this is civilization. When it's actually death. You don't get to enjoy your life. You spend your whole life paying debt. Run around, eating suckers, and body pops, playing video games, and then when you go to college, you're screwed. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. From that point on, try to find a wife at college or maybe a little bit afterwards. You perform that union so you can come together and pay down your debt together. Well, oops, what happens when men and women have, uh, get together? They have babies. Now you have more debt. Now you're spending your, t your whole life with your two kids in your car, trying to get paying down debt and thinking that you have the American dream with your BS vacation that you take every summer. Let's go to Disneyland. Let's go to Let's go to St. Padre. So what's the real solution? Right. The, 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 the solution. Here we go. Let's Verse read. four. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and scarlet colored, and decked with gold and precious stones yep. and pearls. So everybody that was uh, uh, a part of America felt like they were a part of some dream, some richness, some Latin, some some decadent empire. Go ahead. God. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness. Yeah, man, because when you look at the ways, like we talk about that wine, is the ways and the philosophies of America is full of abominations and filthiness. Look at America, man. Full of just nasty whores. Women are just the biggest whores ever. Man. You'd be lucky to get a woman that had less than 50 men. Yeah. 